Guys, it's Kyle, and today we're gonna to be creating an image action sequence with our GoPro camera. So an image action sequence is one of those sequences of images you see in many wakeboard or skiing magazines where they'll have a double page spread and it'll be someone doing a jump or a trick and it will have multiple uh, shots of that same trick plastered onto the same background. So if you come off a ski jump and it'll be the person going through the air doing their trick and then landing and that will be the same person at the different stages of their trick across the page on a still background. And it's a very, very cool looking image and it's something that's actually very easy to create using your GoPro camera. So what we're gonna need is set our GoPro up into burst mode and after we've done that, we're going to just go out and shoot the images. So you're gonna really put it in burst mode. Um, now normally I found it best to shoot at like 30 photos every three seconds because if I did 30 photos in one second, that became almost too much information to deal with and I had with frames overlapping and I got more photos than I really needed and it was also harder to make sure that I actually got frames of the whole trick being done. So I was just shooting at 30 photos every two seconds but depending on the speed of the action you're shooting, you could adjust that. You probably wanna get a tripod. It's not necessarily needed to shoot this with a tripod but it does make the post way, way easier and then you're just gonna go out and shoot. So the images that I'm gonna be using are just me jumping across the screen and it just is to goes to show that a really simple action sim uh, like that can be used to demonstrate this purpose, but it's great for skateboarding, any kind of thing where you can just jump, if you're at the park, if you're skiing, snowboarding, wakeboarding, there's tons of different places this kind of technique can be used. So anywhere where someone's going to be crossing the um, the frame and that's really all that you need to make sure that you have going on in this uh, to shoot one of these You need someone to jump across the frame or do their action across the frame so that in post You're going to be able to get them at multiple different areas of the frame in order to create this image Then we're just going to load the images into post and we're going to be using Photoshop to start our edit We are going to load our 30 photo burst on the computer then we're going to pick out the photos you want to use in my case, I picked seven. However, you may want to pick more or less. The trick here, though, is to pick photos that don't overlap too much. A little bit is okay, but too much will take away from the final image. Then we're going to load our photos into Photoshop. With these photos open, we're going to select File, Automate, Photo Merge. We will then select Reposition and add the open files. Then press OK. This is going to take a little while, but what it is doing is repositioning all the photos so that they overlap perfectly. While this may not be completely necessary if you were shooting on the tripod, the great thing with this method is that it will work even if you didn't take your original photos with a tripod. Photoshop will have applied masks to all of your layers, so we're going to want to go ahead and delete those because we will be adding our own. Then we're going to want to rearrange the photos starting from the image furthest away from us at the bottom to the image with the subject closest to us at the top. We are now going to add our own layer masks to the images, starting with the limit image on top. We're going to grab our selection tool and then draw a square rectangle around our subject and then click the layer mask button on the lower right. We'll then repeat this project for each of the following layers. We can turn off layer visibility as we go to make it easier. This is a very rough first pass, and we'll now go back and refine each of the layer masks. In order to refine our mask, we're going to grab the paintbrush tool, select an appropriate size, set the hardness to 50%, and then set our color to black. Now we select the layer mask and begin painting on the image, revealing the layer behind the one which we are currently working on. We will continue this process until we have finished all of the layers. Whereas when we were making our original selections, we worked from the top layer down. When we're refining the layers, I tend to work from the bottom layer up. And that's it. Our image is now complete. If we want to crop it down to size, we can, and then we can save it and share it on our favorite social media site. With all of that done, you can see our final image looks absolutely awesome. And it's really something that you don't see a lot of people creating. So it's a great way to have something unique unique to you, unique to show off, and just kind of something that shows that you do, you can do a little bit more with your GoPro than most people can do, and you're actually doing something with those photos you take in burst mode. So a super, super cool shot, and something that's really unique, and not everyone knows how to do. Guys, if you create one of these, please share it with me on the GoPro Tips Facebook page, just like we did when we did light painting, I'll be creating a album that shows 
everyone's community photos so people can go back and show feedback on those. Of course, you'll be given full credit. So if you message it to me, uh, you can private message it to me on the Facebook account. You can post it on the Facebook, on the GoPro Tips Facebook page, or you can email it to me at GoProTip at gmail.com. All of those addresses are linked down in the video description. So hit me up down there with the photo action sequence you guys create and let me know how you would like to be credited, whether it's name, website, email address, um, whatever kind of, however you'd like to be credited, make sure you include that. And I will be putting up that, putting together that album of user created, community created, um, GoPro action sequences. Uh, you guys really seem to love doing this. So I am challenging you to actually go out and try this. Make sure you do try it. It's really, really cool. And it is very, very easy to do once you get the handle of using Photoshop to create them. Again, if you do not have a copy of Photoshop, you can go and download a free 30 day trial from their website and use that in order to create this action sequence. And then if you use Photoshop and start to really like it, you can just go ahead and subscribe to their, I think it's nine bucks a month for the subscription to use it. So uh, give the free trial a try and that will give you all you need in order to create this action sequence. Guys, thank you very, very much for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. As always, until next time guys, thank you very, very much for watching.